Hey, what's up everyone? Diggin' Dave here. So I have six boxes of pennies. I might add more boxes or rolls to this video, but this is gonna be a massive penny hunt. So guys, let's get started on these boxes and see what we can find. I think a couple of these boxes have some wheat penny enders, but again, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of pennies to start off this video. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff. Let's get digging into these coins. So I'm only on roll number two of the first penny box and just got a two wheat penny roll. So roll number two produced two wheat pennies and this one is, all right, a 1947S. And this one here, a 1951 Denver. All right, let's keep on digging. Just two rolls later, roll number four, we're only on roll number four and we got another two wheat penny roll. So we're already up to four wheat pennies and four rolls, but a 56 Denver and a 1946. Guys, we might be onto a good first box and we have five penny boxes to go through after this one. So this is gonna be a long video, but make sure and like and subscribe. Hopefully we're gonna have a lot of awesome finds in this video. Let's keep on digging. Very next roll, roll number five, just got Wheat Penny number five, and it is a 1945 Philadelphia. We're five rolls into box number one, guys, and we already have five Wheat Pennies, not bad. Hopefully this uh, continues, let's keep on digging. Roll number seven, just got Wheat Penny number six, and it is a 1948 Philadelphia. Sweet. So I went a few rolls without finding anything, but I'm on roll number 15 and just got another Wheaty, I think Wheat Penny number seven. And let's go ahead and reveal the date. Ooh, nice, a 30s, 1935. Now that's not a key date or a low mintage, I don't think. I have found 1935s before, but I always love finding older wheat pennies, pre-1940s, of 1935. Awesome. All right, guys, let's keep on digging. Rule number 20, and I just got a young head Canadian scent from Canada. And this is a common year, but one cent, 1964 Canada. Just thought I would go ahead and show you guys. An older foreign, 1964 Canadian, one cent. Roll number 25 of the first penny box. So we're exactly halfway through the first box. Roll number 25 just gave us our Eighth wheat penny. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is wheat penny number eight. And we are exactly halfway through the box. So hopefully if this continues, we can get about a 15 to 16 wheat penny box, which is a little above average for me, but a 1952 Denver. I will take it. Sweet. Let's keep on digging, guys. Roll number 26. Just got wheat penny number nine. And it's just a baby, 1956 Denver. All right, let's keep on digging. So, all right, guys, I'm on roll number 33 of box one and just got Wheat Penny number 10. Pretty nice condition. I'm gonna guess 40s or 50s. Let's go ahead and see. Yep, 40s, 1946 Denver. All right, let's keep on digging. Well, I'm on roll number 42, guys, and just got Wheat Penny number 11. And it's a 1944 with kind of some weird coloring on it. Like some chemical or stain on it, that's weird. But a 1944 Weedy, very common. But it is a wee Weedy and it does count. Weedy number 11 for the box. Very next roll, just got Wheat Penny number 12. And it is a 1946. I'm hoping we can find some older wheat pennies. I mean, after we finish this box, we still have five more boxes to go through. There's some crap on this wheat penny. Don't know what it is, but that's always fun. Sometimes with older coins, you got gum and crap on them, but 
1946. All right, Wheat Penny number 12. Once again, very next roll, just got Wheat Penny number 13. This one looks an older, but it could just be a worn down 40s Wheat Penny, but let's go ahead and see. Ah, yep, 1947, but it is an S San Francisco mint mark. All right, nothing too special, but it is a Weedy 1947S. Weedy number 13. All right, we're almost done with this first box, guys. And we'll move on to penny box number two. So, all right, guys, I'm on roll number 47. I'm obviously still on the first penny box, and I'm really excited. Um... Not because of this wheat penny, I did see the date and it's got this weird green crap all over it, 1953 Denver, um, that, but that is wheat penny number 14. But I think I just found my first ever serious mint air penny in a penny box. I've gone through a lot of pennies and I've never found one of these before, but this was sticking out of the roll weird and I'm like, what the heck? And then I looked at it. I already put it in one of these plastic protectors because I don't want to get my fingerprints all over it. You see that? I don't know if this is an off-center air, but it's like you can see this, the right side over here. It's got like this, it's like, it's like there's a separation in there. It's like two pieces of metal were smashed together. You see, you see the rim there? Kind of hard to show, but you see how it's just normal penny and then there's like this weird crack along the edge. Like it was smashed together. Now let me show you guys the reverse. This is a 2020, but look at that on the reverse. Like it is off center, but it's different in the fact that this right side over here is like super thick. It's like super thick and there's this weird like this weird, I don't know how to explain it. Um, here, let me pop it out of here really quick. And I'll just try to touch it by the edge. If it will come out, hopefully. There we go. Like I said, I just don't want to get my fingerprints all over it. But you see the edge there? It's like, the edge there is really weird. But this is definitely a mint error. This is something that happened at the mint. This is not post mint damage. And then the back there, I don't know. Comment down below in the comments, guys, and just let me know what is going on. What is going on with this penny here? But that is really cool. Definitely a mint error of some sort, especially on the back. I've never found one of these in a roll. But comment down below, let me know what the value of this would be, or if this is like a serious mint error, or if this is fairly common. But we have three rolls left in the box. Let's keep looking, guys. So all right, guys, I just did roll number 50 for the first penny box. And I would say this was a very successful hunt. We got one more wheat penny in the last roll. And this one is a beauty with some luster still on it. That is wheat penny number 15. Look at that beauty. I'm pro probably going to put this in a flip. A 1958 Denver. But guys, we got 15 wheat pennies, and I would definitely say the find of the box is this right here. I did some searching on eBay. I guess this is considered an off-center strike error with like a partial collar. And I found one that sold for $30 and one that sold for $41 that looked almost identical to what I have right here. But I've never found a serious mint error going through a box of pennies so this is a first for me i'm super excited and this was just box number one we have five more boxes of pennies to go through so this is going to be a longer video but if you're still here make sure and leave a like subscribe leave a comment down below look up there in in is almost completely gone part of god is gone the l is gone over here and if you flip it over look united is cut off and the nice thing about this air right here it's in beautiful condition it's almost an uncirculated penny beautiful condition no damage on it really but all right guys let's go ahead and move on to box number two we got 15 wheaties in this box number one nothing too crazy i think the oldest was a 1935 but enough of me yapping on let's move on to box number two so I just got the first find of box number two, uh, penny box two. 
I'm on roll number three. We just got a 1956 Denver. All right, first weedy out of box number two. Let's keep on digging. Very next roll, roll number four. Just got wheat penny number two for the box, and it is a 1946 Denver. All right, nice. So, all right, guys, I'm on roll number 12. I went a few rolls there with no wheat pennies and no fines, but look right here, we got an oddity. Just got a 1999p dime and a penny roll. That's always funny when you find a dime and a penny roll, but I did get wheat penny number three as well right here and let's go ahead and reveal the date looks like a 1945 so we gained nine cents and we got a weedy 1945 all right let's keep on digging all right i'm on roll number 17 and just got wheat penny number four out of box number two and this weedy here is a 1946 hopefully we can maybe find something a little older I'm still uh, I'm still super happy with that find in the first box. That off center strike or partial collar penny 2020. That's so cool. But we just got another weedy 1946. Next roll just got wheat penny number five and a 1945. Hopefully we can find some older wheat pennies. Finding a lot in the 40s and 50s. I know they're pretty common, but hair or something stuck to it that's always nice but uh 1945 weedy number five right guys i'm on roll number 29 and look at this beautiful wheat penny that just came out not in perfect condition but that is kind of a blazer i did see the date though in 1957 denver but that is a beauty you don't find many wheat pennies with this nice luster still on them like I said, I'm on roll number 29, and that will be Wheat Penny number 6. That is a beauty. Let's keep on digging. Very next roll, roll number 30, just got Wheat Penny number 7. And this one looks like it's been in the ground, maybe a metal detecting find. I'm not sure, it's just really dirty, but a 1954 Denver. All right, I'll take it. We have 20 rolls left in box number 2. Hopefully we can find some more cool stuff. Let's keep on searching. All right, very next roll, roll number 31. Just got Wheat Penny number... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wheat Penny number 8. And this is a 1952 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 37. Just got another Wheat Penny. And this one is a 1947 Denver. So we have 13 rolls to go in box number 2. Hopefully we can find some more stuff. Keep searching. Roll number 39 and just got Wheat Penny number 10. And it is a 1957 Denver with, I found a lot of a lot of Wheat Pennies with this crap on them. It's like, I don't know if it's some sort of chemical or just damage to the coin, but uh, kind of interesting. But a 57 Denver is Wheat Penny number 10 for box two. We got 11 rolls left. Let's keep on digging. I am on roll number 46, guys, and I just got a Canadian foreign, a 1961, what they call it, a young head Canadian, and just got wheat penny number 11 in the same roll, and it is a 1947 Denver. We're not finding anything really old in this box, but we are finding some wheat pennies, so I'm not complaining. We still have four boxes of pennies to go through after this um, box number two I'm about to finish, so it'd be really awesome if we could find an Indian head penny or something a little older um but we are finding wheat pennies so no complaining here but guys four rolls left in box two let's keep on digging right guys just finished box number two we got a total of 11 wheat pennies so not too bad nothing um old uh, mainly just some um, 40s and 50s but um we did get that nice uh what was it i don't think it's i'm gonna put it in a flip because it's not perfect but a 57 denver Pretty, uh, pretty coin right there. All right, let's move on to box number three. Well, guys, we're off to a great start in box number three. The very first roll. I don't think I have any enders in this box, but the very first roll in box number three had two wheat pennies in it, a 1944 and a 1948. And I have six boxes of quarters. Well, I'm start I've gone through two boxes so far as I'm recording. I just started the third box. 
and it is July 4th. So if you hear a bunch of fireworks and stuff in the background, I apologize, but it is currently nighttime on July 4th. So a lot of people lighting off fireworks, but um, two wheat pennies in the first roll of box three. All right, let's keep on digging. All right, roll number four. I uh, went a couple rolls without anything, but roll number four just got another wheat penny. Wheat penny number three is gonna be a 1954 Denver. And there's more fireworks. <laughs> Happy July 4th, everyone, even though this video is gonna drop after the 4th. Let's keep on digging. I'm on roll number seven of box number three and just got wheat penny number four. And I did see the date. It's a very common 1944, but hey, I love finding wheat pennies and I'll take it. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 15. So I had a little uh, dry, little dry spout there, but just got wheat penny number five. And this one is actually in really nice condition, very sharp details. I'm assuming it's probably a 50s. All right, yeah, 1950 Denver. Not a lot of luster, just a tiny bit coming through, but a very, a very clean, detailed looking wheat penny. 1950D. All right, let's keep on digging. All right, guys, I think I'm about 20 rolls into this box and just got wheat penny number six. Just popped out of this roll. And it's a 1956 Denver. All right. Keep on digging. Roll number 25, exactly halfway through box number three. Just got Wheat Penny number seven. And it is a 1949 Denver. All right, sweet. Roll number 30, and I just got Wheat Penny number eight. There we go, if we'll go ahead and focus. And it's a 1950 Denver. All right, let's keep searching. Roll number 34 and just got Wheat Penny number nine for box number three. And it's a 1942. Sweet. Roll number 39 just gave me my 10th Wheat Penny. Wheat Penny number 10 it is a 1955 Denver. We're not finding anything old guys, but we are finding some wheat pennies, so I am happy. And I'm almost done. I have 11 rolls left in box number three. Like I said, this is probably gonna be a longer video. I have three more penny boxes to go through after we finish this box I'm working on right now, box number three. So plenty more chances at some good finds. But wheat penny number 10 in box three here, 1955 Denver. Roll number 41 just gave us Wheat Penny number 11, and it is a 1945. All right, I'm hoping we can find something a little older, like an older Wheat Penny or maybe an Indian Head Penny if we get really lucky. But I know it's getting harder and harder to find the older coins in general. You know, it's been a while. When I first started coin roll hunting a few years ago, I found quite a few Indian Head Pennies in boxes, but it's been a while. Um, I think I had to go through seven boxes last time of pennies and I got one 1907, which is the highest mintage Indian head penny. I wasn't complaining, but it just, um, you know, it's hard to find those old coins. But a 1945, nine rolls left in box three. Roll number 46 of box three that I've been working on is gonna give me my 12th wheat penny. So that's about average for me, I would say, for a penny box. Between 10 to 12 Wheaties is pretty uh, pretty average for me. But a 57 Denver, it's a newer Wheatie, nothing old, but it does count. It's a 1957 Denver. We have four rolls left in box number three. Let's see if we can find anything else. If I don't, we'll move on to box four. Wheatie number 12. All right, guys, I just finished box number three and I didn't find anything else. I got a total of 12 wheat pennies, so not too bad, about average for me. Um, all 40s and 50s, nothing, uh, no key dates, nothing terribly old. And uh, sorry, the train's going by in the background, but I did find a couple Canadian cents from the 80s and 90s. I don't show those. Um, I know when some people, when some people are coin roll hunting, they show all the foreign finds, but... I live in Northern Illinois, 
and it seems like Canadian pennies or cents are pretty common, so I'm not going to show every time I find a Canadian. But box number three, 12 wheat pennies. Let's move on to box number four, guys. Hopefully we can find some older Wheaties or maybe an Indian if we're lucky. All right, guys, so I just started on uh, penny box number four of the six boxes we have, and I'm on roll number four and just got an older Canadian and a wheat penny in the same roll. And this is what they call a young head. It's a 1964 Canadian cent. And first wheat penny of box number four is a 1951 Denver. I'll take it. Good way to start off box number four. Roll number seven and just got wheat penny number two. And it is another 1951 Denver. I think that's the same date we got earlier, 51D, but that is wheat penny number two. And guys, I've never really looked at these, but I think I found, I don't think it's very valuable, but let me know down below in the comments, guys. I think this is a 1960D, 1960D small date. Um, you can see the zero there is more of like an oval shape rather than like a circle. Now I know in 1960 Philadelphia and Denver there is a small date and a large date variety, right? I think the Philadelphia is a little more valuable, but that's kind of cool. I think this is a 1960D small date. I'll probably hold on to it. Not in terrible condition for its age. It still has a little bit of luster on it, good detail. But a 60D small date. All right, that's kind of cool. Let's keep on digging. So I'm on roll number 22 and finally got another wheat penny. The last wheat penny I found was in roll seven. So man, this is a pretty slow box. 22 rolls in and only three wheat pennies, 54 Denver. Hopefully the box picks up a little bit, but um, yeah, three wheat pennies and 22 rolls is pretty slow. At least for me personally, I normally get 10 to, 10 to 12 wheat pennies a box. So hopefully, the rolls pick up a little bit. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 24. We're almost halfway through this box number four and just got a two wheat penny roll, so that is good. This one here looks like it's been terribly cleaned or some type of chemical got a hold of it, but it's a 1951 wheat penny number four. And we did get one more wheat penny in roll number 24. This one might be a little older by the reverse. It just has that older look to it. Okay, a 1936 in pretty nice condition. Do we have any doubling on the date 1936? It does not look like there's any doubling, but I will double check under my microscope. But um, 1936. All right, sweet. That is five wheat pennies now. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 27, just got wheat penny number six. And let's go ahead and reveal the date now. Looks like a 1951, ooh, 1951 S. Nice, got a couple 51 Ds, but now we got a 51 out of San Francisco. Wheat penny number six, and we're on roll number 27. Roll number 34, just got wheat penny number seven. And it's a 1949. So we have 16 rolls left in the box. Hopefully we can get at least 10 wheat pennies. We haven't really found anything old yet in these boxes. We did get a 36, but that's pretty common. But all right, guys, let's keep on digging. On roll number 38 and just got wheat penny number eight. It's a 1952 Denver's. We're finding a lot of 40s and 50s. <laughs> Be nice to find an older wheat penny or an Indian, but I'm not holding my breath. We'll see. 1952 Denver. I'm on roll number 42 of box four and just got two wheat pennies in this roll. So we got wheat penny number nine and ten. A 1945. In pretty nice condition, actually. And a 1957 Denver. So now we have ten wheat or ten wheaties for the box. Let's keep on digging. We're almost done with box number four. Roll number 46, just got wheat penny number 11. A little bit of an older one, 1937, okay. Nice, we finally got something a little older. 1937. 
So all right guys, I just finished penny box number four and we got a total of 11 wheat pennies. All of these are common uh, 40s and 50s, but we did get two in the 30s. The 1936, it's really not in terrible condition. Sharp details. And we did get a 1937 right there. So a 36 to 37, the rest were 40s and 50s. And I did verify we did get a 1960D small date. I did a little research. These aren't worth much unless they're in really nice condition, maybe a couple bucks, but 1960D small date. But all right, guys, let's move on to box number five. So all right, guys, box number five is off to a pretty slow start. I'm on roll number 12. And roll number 12 is gonna give us our first wheat penny right here. And it is a 1952S. But it took us 12 rolls to find a weedy. Hopefully the box picks up a little bit and heats up and we can find some more stuff. 1952S. I'm on roll number 19 of box number 5 and just got wheat penny number 2. It's very beat up and damaged. But I think I can get a date off of it. Man, this wheat penny is just beat to hell. I'm pretty sure it's a 1946 though. There's a big gouge through the 4. But yeah, 90% positive that's a 1946. But wheat penny number two. Hopefully this box picks up a little bit. But I'm on roll number 19. Roll number 26 just got wheat penny number three. So we're over halfway through the box and only have three wheat pennies. This is one of the slower, um, this is one of the slower penny boxes I've had in a long time. But you know, sometimes you get good boxes, sometimes you get slower boxes, but a 1945, another one that's pretty beat up and damaged, but all right, roll number 26, wheat penny number three. Roll number 31, just got wheat penny number four. And I did see the date on it, it's a little bit older, but it's a pretty common year, 1936. I did check for doubling underneath my microscope. There was no, there was no doubling that I could see. And guys, just a quick plug, if you want to help support the channel, I'll, I'll have links down below in the description, um, Amazon affiliate links to um, supplies and stuff that I use for coin roll hunting, like a microscope, the coin book I use, coin flips, just any, if there's any coin roll hunting supplies you need, click the links down below in the description. I get a very small percentage of that and it helps out the channel. But Wheat Penny number 4, 1936. This has been a very slow box. But um, hopefully it picks up towards the end, 1936. Roll number 33. Didn't have to wait too long for the next Wheat Penny, but just got Wheat Penny number 5. And it is a 1954 Philadelphia. So all right, guys, I'm on roll number 40 of box five. So we have 10 more penny rolls left in box number five. And this is wheat penny number six. I'm thinking this might be older because it looks a little more beat up and worn down. I'm not sure what all of this, it almost looks like paper or something, but it doesn't seem like it wants to come off. Let's see the date. Ooh, we got a 30, we got a 36 earlier. Right? I think we got a 36 and a 37. But this is a 37 Denver, it looks like, which still is not a low mintage or key date, but a 37 Denver. All right, that's pretty cool. Wheat Penny number six, roll number 40. Let's keep on digging. Okay, guys, very next roll just got Wheat Penny number seven. And the detail on the back of this Wheat Penny is actually pretty nice. I'm gonna guess 40s or 50s probably. All right, a 1945. Can we get a 44 copper? I meant a 44 steel or a 1943 copper. <laughs> that would be like winning the lottery. But all right, guys, let's keep on searching. Well, all right, again, very next roll. It looks like towards the end of uh, box number five here, we're getting a couple more wheat pennies towards the end of the box, which is good. So just got wheat penny number eight, and it is a 1942 in a pretty nice condition. It's definitely not a red, it doesn't have any luster to it, but nice sharp details for, for its age, 1942. 
right during World War II. That's one thing I love about coins as well. Just the history. Think about when this coin was minted in 1942, what was going on? World War II, a lot of stuff going on in the world. Just a lot of amazing history in this coin right here. But all right, guys, let's keep on digging. Roll number 45, just got wheat penny number nine. So we're getting a few more wheat pennies here towards the end of the box, which is good. My average is about 10 to 12 wheaties a box. So earlier when I was like, what? 25 or 26 rolls in and I had like three or four Wheaties. I was getting a little scared, but roll 45 and we just got Wheat Penny number nine. It's another 1945. I don't want to complain. I wish I could find some older Wheat Pennies, you know, in the teens or 20s, but um, some Wheat Pennies are better than none. All right, we have five rolls left in box number five and then we're going to move on to box six, the final box for this video. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 48 just gave us Wheat Penny number 10. So at least we got 10 Wheat Pennies for the box. A 55 Denver, we still have two rolls to go through in box number five here, but at least we hit 10 Wheat Pennies. I always consider anything over 10 Wheat Pennies, or 10 and above for the Wheat Pennies is good in my book. But a 1955 Denver, I'll add it to the stack. Let's keep on digging. So all right, everyone, I just finished penny box number five and we got a total of 10 wheat pennies. The two oldest wheat pennies in the box were a 1936 Philadelphia and a 1937 D. I think earlier I said, I thought I found another 37 in box five that I just finished, but I think I confused myself with a different box. But I know we found a couple 37s, I think in the other boxes, but a 36 and a 37D. Guys, we have one more box to go through for this video, box number six. So hold on and let me grab that box and we'll start digging through box number six. Well, we're off to a good start in box number six. Roll number one just gave us two wheat pennies. So a two wheat penny roll for roll number one. The first wheat penny is a 1952 Denver. And right here we got a little bit more dirty. It looks like a 1947. So all right, two Wheaties in the first roll of box six. I'll take it. All right, guys, so I think I'm on roll number six or seven. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure I'd have to count the rolls, but just got Wheat Penny number three, a 1954 Denver. I've been looking for RPMs and different errors and stuff. Haven't found anything too extraordinary, except I can't remember. Was it box number one or two? I found that off-center strike error, that 2020 penny, which is awesome. I found a couple identical to what I found on eBay selling for between $30 to $40. So, But don't worry, at the end of this box, I'll do a big wrap-up of everything I found in all six boxes. But just got weedy number three for box six. A 54D. Roll number 10 just got wheat penny number four. Another dirty wheat penny. Oh man, that's another chewed up, beat, beat to hell wheat penny. But a 1952D, it does count. Wheaty number four for box six. All right, I think I'm on roll number 12 and just got wheat penny number five. And it's a 1945 Denver. Roll number 15 of box number six, and I just got Wheat Penny number six. Boom, right here, it's a 1946. Oh yeah, I also got this in the roll. <laughs> I was kind of tricking you guys a little bit. Look at this beauty. That is a blazer, just gonna hold it by the edge. It is a common date, 1956, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that in a flip. You don't find many wheat pennies like this in circulation anymore, but again, look at the reverse there. Just holding it by the edge, guys, so don't freak out. But that is a beauty. I'm going to go ahead and put that 56 beauty in a flip. All right, guys, like I said, roll number 15. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, a few rolls later, just got wheat penny number eight. 
And this one is a 51D. Man, I don't know how many 51Ds I've pulled in this video between the first five boxes and now box number six. 51D, I feel like I've seen that a lot. But it is a Weedy, Wheat Penny number eight. Just got Wheat Penny number nine and I'm about halfway through this uh, box number six. And this is a 1950 Denver. Alrighty, let's keep on digging. Very next roll, just got Wheat Penny number 10 and I almost missed it in the roll. Another beautiful Wheat Penny. Um, not quite as nice as this uh, 1956. Um, I don't know if the camera's really doing it justice, but you know, not in perfect condition. There's a few little blemishes on the on the Wheat Penny, but overall, a beautiful example of a 19, um, 1956. This one here, not not as in good condition, but still beautiful detail, a tiny bit of luster still on it. The front's a little better and it's a 1955 Denver Wheat Penny, number 10. Very next roll just got Wheat Penny number 11 and another, another nice looking Wheat Penny. I wonder if there was a little collection dump of some nicer Wheat Pennies because we got that beautiful 56 blazer that I put in a flip and then we just got a 55D that um, looked to be in some similar condition to this and this one is a 54D the front is not perfect but there is a little luster still on the wheat penny so really in pretty nice condition condition some uh, sharp details there but wheat penny number 11 and I think we're like 29 rolls into the box so let's keep on digging. I'm on roll number 33 and just got Wheat Penny number 12. And another pretty nice looking Wheat Penny. I'm guessing it's probably in the 50s. Yep, a 1951 Philadelphia. A lot of these Wheat Pennies I'm pulling out still have a little bit of luster on them if you can see that in the lighting. But a 51 Philadelphia Wheat Penny Number 12, nice. I'm on roll number 38 and just got Wheat Penny number 13. Let's go ahead and reveal the date together. A lot of these Wheat Pennies are coming out with nice, crisp, good details. All right, a 1940 Philadelphia. Pretty sure that's very high mintage. Not a key date, but um, a 1940 Philly. Like I said, in a pretty nice condition. Wheat Penny number 13 out of box number six. Well, all right guys, I just finished box number six and we ended with 13 Wheat Pennies, so that's about average for me. I would say the find of the box was definitely this 1956 blazer in just beautiful condition. So guys, let me get all the finds from all six boxes. We'll do a tally up of how many Wheat Pennies I found in six boxes and some of the best finds. I'll be right back. So all right guys, here we go. Here's the wrap up for this video. Six boxes of pennies. This took me a couple days to go through all six boxes. So if you're still watching this video, thank you so much. Make sure and smash the like button. It really helps me out. Leave a comment down below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please just take a second, push the big red subscribe button right down below this video. It would really help me out. But out of six boxes, we got 72 wheat pennies. 72 wheat pennies. And let's divide that by six boxes. So that's an average of 12 wheat pennies a box. So that's about average for me. Now I would say our two best finds were probably this. I showed this earlier, earlier this beautiful 1956 Philadelphia wheat penny in just really nice condition. And by far the best find came out of box number one and it's that um here let me zoom in a little bit it's the 2020 and it is the off center strike error you can see the thick rim over there and i did post this coin on a facebook coin group and it was verified that it is an error it's not damage i've been collecting coins long enough that i know this is not damage but you can see that thick rim it's like an off center 
broad strike error or something like that. But like I said, I found some on eBay identical to this selling from between $25 to $40. So this is an awesome find right here. Probably gonna put this in a flip. But again, 72 wheat pennies. About average for me, 12 wheaties a box. But guys, thanks for watching so much. Like I said, make sure and leave a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Would really appreciate it. But until next time, guys, keep on digging. Peace.